Welcome back. As ever, I'm so excited, especially around holiday time, to introduce our ed- entertainment correspondent, the amazing Francine Brokaw, is here to talk about what's going on for holiday at Disneyland. Francine, welcome back and thank you. Well, you know, this is the last time this year that we're going to be talking about Disneyland <laughs> because <laughs> the end of this end of the end of the year, all the holidays, it, it's everybody looks forward to it. I didn't realize how many families make it a, a annual holiday tradition to go to Disneyland for the holidays. I, I I just learned that this year that so many people say, this is what we do every year, which is really cool. If you and, have the opportunity, absolutely Disney. Yes, definitely. And actually I do have some special uh, prices for children. So they check, check the Disney website because right now through, I'm not sure it's February or whatever, you, there are $50 tickets. So you've got to check and see how, you know, that corresponds with when you want to go. But anyway, in the meantime, let's talk about uh, holidays this year. Returning is the um, the Christmas Fantasy Parade, which was is always a, a big, uh, big crowd pleaser, and the night shows, but also the Festival of the Holidays, which is the <laughs> the food and you know me with food and it lasts through um january 7th so this is a little menu book and it has all the different options I mean, you can't believe what they've come up with the chefs at disneyland are just amazing anyway if you get the little sip and saver pass you get the click off tabs and you can just exchange them change it to, uh, in the a tab for one of these items. Now, I tried several of them and I will give you my preferences. Let's hear it. The Kugel, yeah, the Kugel mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. Kugel mac and cheese. Isn't that an interesting combination? It's it's more macaroni and cheese, but it's got, I mean, it's it's an interesting flavor. I really, really do recommend that. I thought it was really good. And as for, I did not have to, I, but, (laughs) Because I wanted to try a lot of other things. But uh, as for drinks, for um, beverages, I like the guava melon drink. It's, it's tro- you know, I like things tropical. My husband wasn't all that thrilled with that. I loved it. I mean, it was like a taste of Hawaii for me. It was really good. Um, they have so many things. I can't, you know, if I were to tell you, I mean, th- their desserts, amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, Santa's milk and cookies and hot chocolate, obviously. Can't go um, wrong. No, they, they do have, um, oh, I wasn't going to say, they have more, in my mind this year, I thought they had more sweets than savory. Oh. I could be wrong. I, I just happened to be drawn towards the sweets. You know that. And um, so that, that the Festival of the Holidays last year, January 7th. So we've got the, the whole month to take advantage of that. But besides the um, the food, but I understand yes. the holiday tree house is really the thing. Well, it's not actually the holiday tree house, but it's the new Adventureland tree house. Now, let me, I've got to look at my notes because I'll go crazy. Uh, 1962, I don't know if you recall the Swiss Family Robinson movie. Of course. The original Disney version. And they made, immediately after that, it was so popular, they made the tree house in Disneyland. And that was, oh, my husband said that was his favorite thing to do. And my sister and I used to go up there and climb the ropes and everything. And it was fun. And then then they took that away. And in 1999, they made it, they turned it into Tarzan's treehouse. Oh, that's right. So that, I remember yeah. that. Oh, I like Tarzan, but you know, it's still, now it is called Adventureland Treehouse and a new family has moved in. They've oh. built a, an amazing house. I can't, it's, it's, I can't even explain it. There are, I do have to do one caveat. There are a lot of steps. So if you don't want to go up this, up to the different levels, you have the right. There are so many things to look around in the bottom level. But if you go up uh, different le- one at a time, and when you get to the top, the view of Disneyland is really, really kind of cool. Oh, how fun. Yeah, that's That's neat. really interesting. Yeah, I, I think anybody, I, mean, I got to see it before anybody got, I mean, I had a preview. 
You got to see the house so, when it was new before the tenants moved in, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they'd already fixed it up. They're so cool. I like this family. I'd like to visit them. I don't want to live in the tree house, but I would like to visit them because they have so many, I mean, they're so ingenious what they've done with that. And, it, and it's, it's really a fun place. And let's see, um, another new place that's well, it's not brand new, but it's, you know, like a month old is Tiana's restaurant, Tiana's Place restaurant. And we know Tiana from uh, Princess in the Prague. Yes, and yes. she's a little chef. And I got to sample some of their food. Now, I thought it was a kind of a little bit on the spicy side, but it's all got a New, uh, new Orleans flair. Oh, so, nice. you know, yes. So it's an interesting addition, let's put it that way, to the offerings at Disneyland and it's I think I think it's kind of it's, I, I I like the way the chefs keep coming up with new things they do I and think. I love the fact that the food speaks to you first so that obviously <laughs> gives us a really great entree so when is it all open or is it all open already it is all open it is all raring to go but in on January 30th the Pixar Place Hotel opens across the way and uh, so that's the only thing that's not open at this time. That opened, like I said, January 30th. And that is going to um, add another fun destination to stay at for well, we'll guests bring who you back, want to stay. We'll bring you back to talk about the hotel. But for right now, I just really want to encourage our, our viewers to take advantage of what's in your backyard and, and really look at all the fun new things that are happening and happening at Disney, especially for holiday. Francine, thank you so much for bringing this all to life for us every single time. We so appreciate you. And to our viewers, happy, happy holidays. And we appreciate you. And we will see you in the new year. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Good day, Orange County.